Hey guys, welcome to this video on the Python programming language and on face recognition. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to take in an image and detect faces on that image. Now I have an example here. It's an image of two NBA basketball players on the Miami Heat team. Dwayne Wade on the left and LeBron James on the right. And we can see that this program detects the faces by putting a rectangle around their face and it also detects their eyes by putting a blue rectangle around their eyes. So again, there's a green rectangle around their face and a blue rectangle around their eyes. So I'm going to show you guys how to write this program basically from scratch. You will need the Python programming language version 3 installed onto your computer and you will need the open CV library installed on your computer as well and they can use an IDE of your choice or a text editor of your choice I'm using PyCharm for my development and uh, like I say you can use whatever you want to for yours now if I move this image over which we're going to create this image at the very end of this video you'll be able to do it again with all the instructions here uh, if I move it over also put some information about the images so I put the number of faces found which is two I put the image height width and channel so this is a 1024 by 995 image that has the visible wavelengths red green and blue so that's why we have three there and then it has the coordinates of each face that was detected this is the region of interest so it has the X and Y coordinates as well as the width and height okay so that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of here and we're going to get started writing this program ourselves in this video. So first thing I'm going to do is go up here to uh, test. I'm going to right click new Python file and the kind is Python file. So that's good. And I'm going to call it detect underscore uh, faces and then click OK and now we have our area where we can start programming so first thing I like to do is put a description of the program and this will tell me what this program does that way when I look back I can immediately look at that description and say oh, okay yes I see what this program is going to do or is supposed to do and other people can do the same as well so here I like to put a description in comments so description and then I'm going to put this program detects faces and eyes. Now let me zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see uh, very well or at least a little bit better. Now face detection is performed by using classifiers and a classifier is essentially an algorithm that decides whether a given image is positive like a face or negative like something that's not a face. Alright and the open CV library can help us with this. So we are going to import the open open CV library and to do that just type import CV2 okay now we're going to use two classifiers called the HAAR H -A -A -H -A -A -R classifiers and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not and I'm going to create a variable called face cascade and I'm going to set it equal to CV2 dot cascade classifier and in here we need to tell it the location and name of our classifier so if I go over here to the left you guys can see that I have the two classifiers here and these are OpenCV's pre-trained classifiers that are stored as .xml files so I am going to uh, put in the location of those classifiers which is under or which are under data sets and then faces so I put data set slash faces slash now the name of the file which is H A A R cascade underscore frontal face underscore default dot XML so this is our classifier which will help us detect faces and then we'll create another variable called I underscore cascade and set it equal to CB2 dot cascade classifier and we basically need to do the same thing but this time we're going to be using the har cascade underscore i dot xml classifier so here we're going to type in the location of the file which is data sets slash 
faces slash now the name of the file h a h a a r cascade underscore i dot xml all right next let's read in the image so to do that i'm gonna create a variable called image or img for short and set it equal to cb2 dot im read and then we need to give it the location and name of the image file and i have that in the same location as our classifiers and it's called Dwayne underscore and underscore james dot jpg and that's located under data sets sets slash faces slash Dwayne underscore and underscore james dot jpg now this image files the same image that you saw at the beginning of this video but without the facial recognition okay next let's create a variable called faces and set it equal to face underscore cascade dot detect multi scale and this is going to take in an image and then optionally it can take in a scale factor which I'm gonna put 1.3 here and a min neighbors uh, parameter so I'm gonna put in five here so you can play with those two uh, parameters to help you detect the faces and uh, again the the last two parameters are optional okay so next let's print the number of faces found and to do that I just type print and then I'm gonna put faces found colon and then we're gonna put the length of faces to get that number okay next I want to print the image height the width of the image and the channel okay so to do that I simply have to put img dot shape and that will give me all of that information and then next let's print the coordinates of each face detected okay and to do that we can simply put faces here all right so now let's run this and see that uh, see all this to see all this be being printed and then check if um, we have any errors so here I see that faces found is 2 the image height width and channel 1024 995 and 3 and then we have our coordinates for each face that was detected just like we saw earlier at the beginning of this video okay so that looks good but what we really want to see are the or is the image with the uh, rectangles around the region of area or region of interest so how do we do that and I'm going to show you here how we or how we're going to do that so we're going to loop over each of the coordinates faces and we're going to draw rectangles around those those regions okay so here I put in comments loop over all the coordinates faces and draw rectangles all right so to do that I'm going to use a for loop so for x y and x and y are our coordinates on the uh, upper left of where the face was detected and then I'm going to use w and h which stand for width and height and faces and what we're going to do is type cv2 dot rectangle okay and in here we need to give it the image then we need to give it the upper left point so that is location x comma y then we need to give it the bottom right point so that is at location x plus w comma y plus h all right, then we need to tell it the color of the rectangle and OpenCV uses BGR instead of RGB. So we put 0, 255, comma, 0. So of course, this means 0 blue. Uh, give me all of the green and then 0 red. Okay, and then finally, we're going to tell it the thickness of our rectangle. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's show our image. So to do that, uh, first I type show image here and we just type cv2 dot im show and then we need to give the window a name so we're gonna call it image 
and then we need to tell it what image we want to show which is called IMG. Now we want this image to to con continue showing until we basically click that X button to X out the image and to do this we type CV2 dot wait key and we input the parameter 0. Now the arguments are the time in milliseconds so if you were to put 1 it means 1 millisecond so you wait 1 millisecond. Now let's also type cv2 dot destroy all windows and this will simply destroy all the windows we created. Alright so let me go ahead and run this and hopefully we will see a rectangle, a green rectangle around the faces. Alright and yes we do indeed see that. So next let's also put some blue rectangles around the eyes so that's going to be using the eye classifier. Right now we're just using faces which uses the uh, heart hard cascade underscore frontal face underscore default class classifier. All right, so I'm going to create a variable called ROI, which means region of interest underscore face. And I'm going to set this equal to IMG. Uh, we want, let me see here, Y colon Y plus H comma X colon X plus W. And what I'm getting is just the the face the face region because we know that the eyes will be within that face region all right so that's why I'm just getting only the face region that was detected and then I'll create a variable called eyes and set it equal to I underscore cascade dot uh, detect multi scale just like we did above and we're going to input for the image ROI face okay and again the other parameters are optional so we can put uh, 1.3 and 5 here as well. All right, so now we need to loop through all of the eyes. So I'm going to create another for loop for EX, which stands for I at position X, EY, I at position Y, EW, the I width, and EH, the I height. In eyes, we want to draw a rectangle. So we're going to do the same thing CV2 dot rectangle and we need to put in the image which is ROI underscore face and then we need to put in the top left point which is at EX comma EY and then we need to put it in the bottom right point which is at EX plus EW comma EY plus EH and then I need to give it the uh, color of the rectangle. So we're going to use 255 for blue, no green, and no red. And then the thickness of the rectangle, which is 2. Okay, so now if I run this, we see that it locates the, the eyes within the face region. Okay, all right, so now let's also do something else. Um, let's add or let's write text on the image. So I'm going to create a variable called font and set it equal to cv2 dot font uh, Hershey simplex. So this is the normal size sans serif font and I'm going to create a variable called text and set it equal to cv2 dot put text and here we're going to input the image which is img and we're going to tell it what we want to write on the image so I'm going to write face detected and then we need to tell where the image is going to be so the bottom left corner of the text so that's going to be at position 0 comma img dot shape uh, 0 at index 0 and then I need to tell it the font and I need to tell it uh, the size of the text. So I'm going to put 2 here and then the color of the text. So I'm going to make it all white. So we're going to do 255, 255, 255. And then I need to tell it the thickness. So we're going to put 2 here. All right. So now if I run this, you can see at the bottom left, I have face detected for our image. Okay. So let's uh, put in another image here just to kind of test this. So I have another image here called Obama.jpg 
And if I double click this here, we can see an image of uh, Barack Obama. So we can see that right now there's no detection, no facial recognition on this image. So I'm going to go back to the program and instead of Dwayne underscore and James, I'm just going to type in Obama here because it's right there in the same uh, same file location as Dwayne underscore and James. And now let's run this program. And let's see if it detects his face. And it does. And it says face detected right here. And we can see that it detects his eyes. I'm sorry, it detects his face and it detects his eyes as well. All right. So anyways, guys, that's basically it. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. I will put the code up on my GitHub so you guys can get it. And the link to that will be in the description below. Um, again, please leave any questions, uh, likes, comments. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.